23.3 is here. We've got the final week of the Open. Very exciting times. Again, we have a workout where if you get the work done, the time is going to be extended. Luckily, this time it's not going to go to infinity. You can only go up to 12 minutes. So we have on the first part those five wall walks, 50 double unders. And then we start with 15 snatches. Repeat the same thing. Snatch reps go down, weight goes up. And then when we get to that second part, if you make it to the first six minutes, we got three minute extension twice with increasing weight on the snatch, decreasing reps, and we're shifting those strict handstand push-ups with that new standard. Let's go ahead and break this thing down. As you start to break this workout down for yourself, you need to have a good understanding as to where the limiters are for the six minutes, for the nine minutes, and for the 12 minute version of this workout. Now, if you're just looking at that first six minute chunk, the biggest limiter for most people is gonna be that second barbell on the snatch. It's gonna be a little bit heavier weight and it's gonna take a little bit longer than you would expect. So if you get there at three minutes time, you might still not finish because those snatches will take time, especially with that shoulder fatigue that you've accumulated with the war walks and the double unders. If you have the war walks down, they will not take that long and you can move at a steady pace, but you definitely should not rush the war walks because they will take a lot out of your shoulders. Make sure you also read the standards and understand the movement so that you're not getting any no reps. For example, Mal was getting some no reps that cost her a little bit of time in the announcement show. The double unders, if you don't yet have double unders, they're not consistent. You're just gonna go for big sets, rest when you fail a little bit, and then go again. If you have the double unders down, this will be a single unbroken set of 50 repetitions, no problem at all. The first barbell, it's going to be probably some touch and go reps for most people. Whether you're gonna do a single set, two sets or three sets, it's gonna be up to you and your capacity. It is wise to save your shoulders a little bit for that second round of the first part. If you think that that second snatch is gonna be a problem for you and you might be surprised by how heavy the second set of war walks is going to feel if that snatch is already starting to be a little bit heavy for you. So in that case, you wanna break it down more. If you're going for nine or 12 minutes, you're definitely gonna go unbroken or maybe two sets with a short break. Just a consideration. Now, once you get to that heavier barbell, you want to move through it with fast singles, ideally fast, maybe they're just slow singles, but you're going to do singles for almost everyone. You have surprisingly little time to do those snatches if you don't have a uh, big capacity yet on the snatch, but you would like to make it through to the uh, round of nine minutes. So make sure that you stay on the bar, drop the bar down, shake it off and go again. Try not to walk away from the barbell, just keep a steady groove when you get there. You do not need to do touch and go reps to get a good score in this. Uh, we saw that Daniel Brandon was almost as fast as Mal on this round, even though it's a little bit slower, but she maybe has also a little bit less capacity on the snatch than Mal has. So. Most people just do singles on that second barbell as well, but try to move fast. Now, if you make it through and you get to that nine minutes, the biggest limiter in this workout overall is going to be that handstand push-up. It will take a significant amount of time. Just go and check out the announcement show analysis that we have and the breakdown. You'll see how long the handstand push-ups take. They're a significant chunk of this workout, even on the heavier rounds of the snatch as well. Um, for most people, you're not gonna do as well as Mal. So she did some big sets in there, about 12 and then five and three on the first round. It's very unlikely that you'll be able to do that. And for most people, the best strategy is to do maybe a set of two or three to start off with, and then move on to sets of two or even singles, or even start with singles from the beginning. The handstand push-ups will be hard with that new standard. Make sure you understand it and practice it before you go, but you're gonna be quite close to the wall. And especially if you're a taller athlete, it is going to be hard to stick to this standard. So make sure you've practiced. Don't be surprised that they feel heavy and hard. And yes, be willing to do small sets, even singles, just kick down, kick back up. They will take the time they will take, but as long as you don't go to failure and you can keep doing work, you can get through those handstand pushups. Now, again, another set of double unders, no problem. Try to relax and breathe. And now when you get to that barbell at that 185, 125, you might be surprised. You thought you're going to power snatch it, but you might end up squat snatching it. And if you think that that is a possibility, it is a great idea to on the, one, uh, the lighter barbell to do one squat snatch at the end, just to get your body used to it. The other good idea when you get that one, <coughs> the heavier barbell, the third barbell, is to make sure that you really utilize your hips on the snatch and you really punch 
the bar overhead. Your shoulders will feel surprisingly soft, or maybe then it's not a surprise, but they will feel soft after those handstand push-ups and all the wall walks and the previous work you've done. So make sure you really punch it out on the snatch. Stick that first repetition. It's going to set you up for success. And then the strategy is going to be the same as on the barbell number two. It's going to be singles. You're going to stay with the barbell and just take the breaks that you need to just have a steady groove and go through them. Now, a lot of people will get stuck on this snatch if they make it through the second part because the shoulders will be so fatigued from all the other work or because they'll have so little time left from the handstand push-ups. So if every single repetition at that third weight is gonna be a lot of spots on the leaderboard. So do your best to stay on it, especially if you have only a little bit of time. Avoid going to failure, but do stay on the bar and keep yourself accountable. Now, if you are one of those people who make it to the 12 minute piece, the final round, those handstand push-ups will be even harder than the first set of handstand push-ups. Now, your heart rate is maybe not going to be the same as it was after the second round because you probably had a little slower pace, but you also moved the heavy load. So don't be surprised, again, if the shoulders feel very heavy. Um, you are gonna do well, again, if you go with that, those singles and doubles, I think you can get through the whole workout with that strategy or you can at least get very close. You can certainly get through the third round with doing those singles, doubles or triples on the handstand push-up. You do not need to do big sets, but of course, if you do have the capacity to go through them in three, four sets um, like Mal did, that would be excellent, but it's unlikely that you will. So be patient when you get to the second set of handstand push-ups. Give yourself maybe a little bit more break between the sets, avoid going to failure, and then if you get to the double unders, obviously you're moving fast, and now you have the heaviest barbell. And I hope at this point that you've given yourself a chance to do at least one squat snatch on the lighter weight so that you won't be surprised when you get the power snatch. Yes, there will be people who will power snatch through the 225 or the heaviest barbell, 155, but it's very unlikely that you are one of those people. So just make sure that you are ready to hit a squat snatch on that first repetition. If you have the time on the clock, it might make sense to rest a little bit more before your first repetition, because again, just like with the previous barbell weight, a lot of people will get stuck around the same numbers. And at that point, getting just that one repetition on the snatch or getting the next repetition on the snatch, it's gonna count for a lot of spots on the leaderboard. So that was a quick overview of the workout. You wanna know your limiters. Is it gonna be the second barbell? Is it gonna be the handstand push-ups? Is it maybe gonna be the third barbell or fourth barbell if you're a gymnastics ninja? Make sure you adjust your strategy accordingly. And most importantly, don't be surprised by this workout. There's gonna be a very significant shoulder fatigue as you go through this, and there's gonna be a lot of athletes missing snatches, and they don't know why. There's gonna be a lot of people confused with the new handstand push-up standard, and by the size of the sets that they're able to do, and many people will push too far, too soon in this workout and will go to failure and won't have a good score. So don't be one of those people. Assess the workout before you do it. Practice the movement standards. Make sure you understand them. Be prepared for the worst case scenario where your shoulders are blown up. And the preparation for that is to have the plan and approach this with small enough sets and with enough patience that you can get as far as your potential allows you to. It's the last week of the Open. It's a good one. Good luck.